are listening to the number one real estate podcast where we talk real estate agents, professionals all across the North America about their wins, losses, lessons, stories, help you win in your local market today. My name is Cody from Sheridan Street. I'm joined with my co-host and co-founder of the Real Estate Growth Academy and also co-host of the Our Agent Podcast. You are listening to the number one podcast in number the world. Number one! Vikram Deal, this is the first episode of the Our Agent Podcast. Today, what we want to do is we want to really dive in deep into why we even decided to start this podcast, what the purpose yeah. was. Um, why don't you give everyone that's listening kind of a high-level <laughs> overview first on like kind of like who the heck you are, number one, uh, and then you know we can kind of bounce back, kind of give them an idea of like, why are we even deciding to interview real estate agents all across the world about their wins, losses, lessons, stories? Like, so maybe tell me a little bit about yourself, number one, sure. and then like why we decided to start this podcast together. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for the intro. Uh, I'm super excited that we're doing this together. It's uh, it's really awesome because I sold a lot of real estate. I built a real estate team, and real estate agents get the the short end of the stick. Everybody sees the glamour. Everybody sees the limelight. Everybody sees all the, you know, million dollar listing agents, but that's not the reality of real estate. Real estate is really? a very hard, very boring, very grindy. I mean, there's, there's like everything, there's exciting moments, but it's yeah. a lot of grind. It's a lot of sales. It's a lot of work. And um, we see real estate agents every single day just getting pummeled out there in the marketplace. And now the marketplace is completely different than it was a couple of years ago. 100%. So when when we decided to you know, create the Real Estate Growth Academy, we decided that let's really focus in on helping real estate agents win. Uh, this was kind of the next progression was interviewing our friends who are doing millions and hundreds of millions and billions of dollars in sales every single year about what they went through, their struggles, new agents, senior agents, seasoned agents, like what's the, what's the challenges that they're facing? How did they overcome? Um, and sometimes, you know, like I love getting deep with people on their personal stuff. You love going deep on the tactics. So we have a really good yin and yang, and, uh, it's just a really good connection, man, to get people yeah. connected to the world. Um, what, what about you, man? Tell us a little bit about you because you have quite the resume as well. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You and I got connected through Sharon Taraza, our, you know, both our mentor. Um, about I got connected to Sharon about a year and a half ago and he introduced me to you. Uh, and obviously we've become really great friends over the last year. But yeah. um, I've had this agency for about four years now, Sheridan Street, formerly Studio PTBO. And, uh, you know, we've served a bunch of different industries and decided early late last year, early last year that we were going to go all in on helping real estate agents and teams and creating like a really solid product where we you help them actually set appointments. So I come from more of a marketing background side of things. So I'm really excited in this podcast to talk tactics and like team building and, uh, you know, but also hear the personal side of the story specifically around agents that are doing really cool things in their marketplace, because th there's no denying you and I have conversations about this all the time. There's no denying the fact that the vast majority of real estate agents get their license, like will be out of business in less than four years. Like, Pretty, pretty quickly. And we are like, I think we, we chatted about this the other day that they're saying on average, 30,000 people are hanging up their license right now. Uh, yep. Just because it's tough. It's not, it's not easy, but if we can do one thing and that like my goal with this podcast, if we can do one thing and we can just share wins, losses, lessons, and stories from people that have actually made it for people that are actually building in their business in real time and actually going through hurdles and figuring out and diving deep into like, what are some of the non-negotiables? What are the, some of the yeah. tangible things that you can do no matter where you're at in your real estate journey that will allow you to create the longevity, but also allow you to create the growth opportunity that a lot of these agents that get into this space, they want the freedom, they want the flexibility, they want the ability to kind of like have, an, like have this world where opportunity is endless, where there's no commission ceiling. And it's like real estate gives you all those things, right. but in order to get those things, you need to put in the work. So it's really cool to chat with like agents that have like really, really large teams to agents that are just starting out. And it's like, you get, you pick up different things from different people because, and you find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And there's so many different things that we've already, you know, we, I think we've batched probably 20 episodes already. So Something I'm really like excited that. to kind of like dive deep into <laughs> the minds of real estate agents, the mind of real estate team leads. So that like, if somebody is watching, they have the ability to pick something up that we're like, and not make the same, maybe the same mistake that potentially you make. 
uh, or or somebody else has made. I never made a single there. mistake, bro. No, not even a single one. No, no, bro. It's co- yeah. Okay, maybe a couple. Yeah, maybe a couple, <laughs> yeah. No, I was talking with one of our uh, one of our members in the Real Estate Growth Academy today, and he's a newer agent, right? He's done a bunch of leases, and he's got his first big deal, right? It's a two million dollar listing, and the sellers are, you know, if the sellers would have priced it here three months ago, they would have sold it for what they're at now. Now they're probably 10% off. And, you know, he's a new agent. We've been working with him, but it takes a lot of courage to go to a $2 million seller when you're a new agent. I don't care how old you are and ask for a price reduction, right? You're asking for 10% off. And that's a big number when you've never made that much money in your life. You're like, I'm asking them for $200,000 and it's hard to quantify that. And, you know, I was was like, Hey, what's your commission on this deal? You know, you don't have another month like this, you know, he's first real listing and it's a double deal. So it's like, he can sell it and then they get to buy a two and a half million dollar house. So it's like a 50 to $70,000 commission. And I was like, bro, that's more than you made all of last year. Yeah. We need to figure out every step of the way. So I was just like in the DMs talking to him. And it's interesting to see the mindset of somebody who's brand new. And then we talk to like our friends, like one of my buddies, Sunit, um, he's like on Facebook. Hey, I'm looking to buy seasoned real estate teams in Sacramento. Right. And he'll be a guest on in a couple of weeks. And it's funny because the the shift is so big from when you're brand new to like, Oh my God, I just want to sell this one house. How do I do it to like, I want to go buy a real estate team. Right. So there's something for everybody here, whether you're starting out or you're seasoned. And if you have a team, it's really valuable because when we interview agents, sometimes we forget as team leaders, it's kind of like, you know, when you sit in a big house, you forget what it's like to be in the poor house. Yeah. Good for the team leaders to see like, Oh my God, if these agents are struggling with this? What are my agents struggling with? And it's a great reminder. So we're really pumped to have you on. We're really uh, as uh, we're really pumped to have our guests on, and we're really pumped to have you listen in and uh, tune in because this is going to be a, a really fun ride. And uh, Cody and I made a huge commitment that we're going to launch um, five to six episodes a week. So you're going to have a ton of ideas from us, and you're going to have a ton of ideas from other agents out there on what's winning in, in today's market. It'll always be fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm just excited. I think that like you and I approach things from both from like a sales mind, but like, you know, I approach it from more from a marketing where it's like, yep. you've actually totally. sold real estate. So it's like the questions are going to be like coming from different angles. So if you really want to listen to a podcast where we are able to, I, I really think we're able to pull out different ideologies because I look at things from more of a marketing perspective where you have that real estate team lead uh, mind that, and you could pull out different things, but uh, yeah, you know, I just want to say more than anything, I'm stoked for the fact that, you know, we're launching this podcast. Uh, I'm really excited about this. And uh, I just really want to thank you for tuning into the first introduction of this episode Uh, just kind of walk you through on what to expect. And I know that uh, I can speak on behalf of Vikram and myself that we are so excited and we just want to say thank you to everyone we've already interviewed. Uh, We want to say thank you to everyone that we're going to interview. Uh, And if you know anyone, if you know any real estate professionals that are doing really cool things in your local market um, or in another market, please feel free to uh, DM us. You can just uh, DM us on, at the Our Agent Podcast and or you can DM either me or Vikram uh, and we can get them on the podcast because we're really looking to interview real estate agents and real estate professionals that are doing really cool things in their local market. Anything else you want to end with today, Vic, before we uh, hop off here? Just you guys, we read our comments and we read our DMs. So wherever you leave a message, um, if you need something, Let us know. I mean, between Cody and I, if we don't know the answer, um, we have resources that are just insane in this industry, which is why we started this. So leave us a comment. Tell us what you guys need, what you need help with, what you're struggling with. Uh, We have our teams available. So if we need to do a, uh, you know, an emergency meeting to help you guys out, we're super, that's what this is for, because we want to see you guys succeed. We, I I hate the stat that it's like a 90% churn rate in the first four years. I hate the stat that, you know, they're estimating 30,000 real estate agents turning in their license because they're not making any money. Like we hate that. 
And here's the other cool thing. If there's somebody who you really, really want to know, like you really wish you had a little bit of time with somebody like a Glenda Baker or a Sharon or, a, you know, XYZ agent, um, let us know and we might be able to get them on the show and you'll be able to listen and interview basically like your own, your own favorite celebrity. Yeah. If you have any specific questions that you want a specific guest, uh, throw them, you know, throw them in the comments section, throw them in our DMS. Uh, yep. we really want to provide as much value as we possibly can through this podcast. So if there's specific questions that you want us to ask specific guests that are coming up, let us know and uh, we will uh, definitely do our best in order to get those questions out in front of our guests. So I want to say thank you. I want to honor you. Thank you for tuning into an episode of the first, very first episode of the Agent Podcast. We will see you soon. Peace.